How many kids are there in this room? Could I see a show of hands? <laughs> I would dedicate this presentation to every child in this room, including the child in you and the children around the world. So I want you to pay attention to this person standing here. What does it mean to be different? To find the answer to this really profound question, I decided to ask the guru of all gurus, google.com. I googled the question, and voila, I got the answer. However, there was a problem, because I got somewhere around 410,786,434 pages only. So since we have less time, I had to compress it into one single sentence, like my figure. And this is what I got. When you have CBL, two or more cultures, beliefs, lifestyles, or when you have VOP, views, opinions, perceptions, that is when you have difference. Now, if you look at me, I have a few tattoos on my body. Just one extended, one really large. Now, you might think I'm different from you, but I'm just like you. I eat, I sleep, I laugh, I cry. How many of you do that? Mashallah, we are the same. I also have this hobby of reading books, writing articles, and being on Facebook. How many of you do that? Mashallah, we are the same. And guess what? I have a few dreams. I would like to have long hair, although it doesn't seem to be working. I would like to touch the lives of many people. And when I die, I want to die fast. How many of you would like that? Okay, a few more lesser hands. But when people look at me, this is the expression they give. <laughs> it's like I'm walking to the grocery and suddenly... I mean, I was like, whoa, relax, chill, dude. And people have baptized me with these wonderful names. Let me give you a few. Smoker, drinker, even a drug addict, a guy who drives a Harley, gangster, a wrestler, undertaker's brother, and a heavy metal freak. Yeah. And the latest one to top the charts, I've got this one. <laughs> you should see people when they come into the lift and see me. Oh my. Now, to your bad news, I don't smoke, I don't drink, I don't drive a Harley. Instead, I love playing with kids. I love children, and children love to play with me. But you should see the parents when they see me with their kids. <laughs> they go like, uh, let's take him. I mean, what's the difference? What is the difference? I'm a speaker, writer. I am a person who loves to read books. I'm just like you. Forget me. How many other people do we judge even before we know them? Have you ever thought about it? The funny thing is, because of all these experiences, I've come up with this new theory that it hurts. It hurts when you judge other people. It hurts when you deprive someone of their dreams, of their goals, of even a promotion because you categorize them into different boxes. And it hurts when you teach your children something that is not true. Because of the experiences in my life, I came up with this new theory. And by the way, it's copyright. I call it the Lloyd's theory of eggs. As per this profound theory, we human beings are like eggs. Different shapes, sizes, and colors. Some of them are really very big, some medium, some really very small. But my theory states, all of us eggs are equal. Give a round of applause. Thank you. Now, my presentation's not over. One of them just got up. Relax. 
So as I was saying, we all egg heads, sorry, eggs are equal. If you want proof, do this. Break an egg, what do you get? The same stuff inside. But you get some people here who categorize human beings like they categorize eggs. Region, a country, you get them dividing people like good quality, bad quality, buy one, get two free. What's wrong with people? But try doing this. Give this small child a dozen eggs, different colors. For that child, an egg is just an egg. And nothing was made more evident to me than the time when I was at the airport, waiting for my flight, daydreaming, thinking of those romantic thoughts. And then it happened. Something started scratching my hand. I looked down and I saw this. A small baby girl apparently thought I was a walking coloring book. <laughs> and uh, she actually started coloring me up. Now, I decided to show her the angry look, and I showed her. She gave me her look. And then I was like, I had to tell her, oh, it's okay, relax, relax. How about coloring this? How about coloring this? You know? And she was very happy. <laughs> she started going higher and higher. And before I knew it, two of her friends came running by, and all three started coloring me up. Now picture this. A big tattooed guy and three babies coloring him up. In fact, a lot of people got a lot of photographs to take for free. But they didn't judge me. The thing about children is, for them, everything is like a sense of curiosity and wonder. They never, ever judge anyone. Have you ever tried giving a child a book? The child will open the pages, try to read the book. If not possible, eat it. But a child never judges a book by its cover. I really wonder, why do we grown-ups lose that sense of mischief? In fact, during the break, is Ali in the house? Ali, where are you? Is Ali somewhere here? Okay, there are a couple of Ali's. <laughs> Ali asked me this beautiful question, and I admire his courage for it. He said, hey, dude, when you start looking like this, how do you not expect someone to judge you? I mean, how much of media does it take for us to change opinions or form opinions about other people? Try doing this. Take a group of children, put them here, from different cultures, communities, religions, put them here, and do the same with adults. You'd see a difference here, and you'd see a difference here. The reason is because someone out there is giving you information which is not true. And for us, we are comfortable to hide within our comfort zone and judge others. I believe that every human being here is equal. I believe that when we categorize people through their C, B, L, cultures, beliefs, lifestyles, or even VOPs, views, opinions, or perceptions, you are committing a sin, including when you judge someone with tattoos. My dear friends, this is just color. When I die, I'm going six feet underground, and most of you are going to join me. So why the differentiation between me or anyone else? So that is where I would conclude. Now, as I conclude, this is the message I give to all of you. We are all born different to different fathers and mothers, but we are all the same. We are all sisters, we are brothers. We all have a pair of limbs, eyes, ears, nose, and mouth. We all look the same, be it from far east, the west, north or south. When we are all the same, why do we hate, fight, and cry? Instead, let's pray for one another under this vast, beautiful blue sky. Every waking day, bless each and every one like the cool summer breeze 
or the warmth of the sun. Look at each and every one through the eyes of a child. Hold each other close through prayers, powerful yet mild. Take those baby steps like talking and do this one small thing. No more wars will be fought. Songs of victory we will sing. Let's become like little children. This is the message that I bring. Because this child here, you all, every person here, every child in the world is truly the beauty of small things.